Yo, what is up guys? Today we are at the Enclave on Mars, and I'm going to be showing you what to do when crafting this weapon on my back right here, the Omit AR-2 auto rifle. Now, I've been using this thing a lot because I needed to get the um, Deep Sight Resonance Challenge completed from it, and it is actually a pretty decent gun. Um, it's probably like one of the my favorite um, solar auto rifles. But anyway, go to shape first and then click on it, obviously. And then you want to get the only frame you can, precision frame. You can uh, you can change the frames later if you want, which I'm guessing you guys probably do want to uh, switch it. Empty barrel socket. So the barrel that we're going to put on is um, either polygonal rifling or extended barrel. Extended barrel does make handling go down. Um... And polygonal rifling just simply doesn't make anything go down, so I think that polygonal rifling would be a better choice. The magazine socket. Now we either have a pended mag or alloy magazine. A pended mag actually makes the magazine go up while alloy magazine does nothing, so we're going to put on alloy ma I mean, um, a pended mag, sorry. A pended magazine. Um, next up, the traits. This is the part where your weapon really um, gets like shaped to what you want it to be. Because these ones, they're just kind of like, they don't really matter. But this, and this, these are important for your gun. Dynamic sway reduction improves accuracy and stability while continuously holding down the trigger. Now, some people say it's good, some people say it's not. I personally just like, I'm okay with it if I have it on a gun. But, I mean, turnabout... Using the weapon to break a shield of a combatant or guardian using their super will grant you an overshield. It's pretty good, so I'm going to apply it to that, or apply that to it. Um, the other trait socket, we have adaptive munitions, which adapts the damage output and effectiveness against energy shields that don't match the, dam the weapon's damage type. It is pretty good, and it does go with turnabout, but one for all... I just like one for all. Hitting three separate targets increases damage for a moderate duration. Honestly, I think that one for all is better, but this one's up to you because turnabout and adaptive munitions probably do go well together. Um, if you have a memento, you can put it in. You don't need to, but you can. And finally, for five resonant alloys, 10,000 glimmer, and 750 resonant elements, you guys can now make the Omit AR2. There you go, weapon shaped. Um, honestly, I do really like this weapon. I think that it is a pretty good weapon, honestly. Like, I probably will use it in a solar build if I have one. Like, not a close range one, though. Like, one where you can just stay back a bit. This, this weapon does go well with a solar. I have tried it just for a short amount of time before putting my void build back on. But um, that is going to be it for the video. I was just showing you guys this gun. Um, and if you do like seeing these tutorials, um, drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Anything helps. You don't need to, but you always can. Um, I have other tutorials if you want to see them, if you want to craft new weapons, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.